Today, I'm going to show you a very quick way to search for and download some example 3D models to build on your 3D printer. Although you may be using different slicing software programs to prep your files, the same download principles apply when grabbing files from the internet. So the first thing you'll want to do is find an internet site that hosts STL files. In short, STL files are the files used in 3D printing software before they are converted to G-code, which is what your actual printer reads. I chose Thingiverse for this video because it is probably the largest repository of ready-to-print STL files online. Anyone can browse and download files from the site, and if you wish to upload and host files on their site, sign up is free. You can find STL files for almost any type of model you wish to build, and even if you need a custom model, it's very easy to find a similar model already in STL form and customize that model in a CAD program such as SketchUp. Okay, so when you're on Thingiverse, you'll notice that the homepage has some featured models as well as some customizable options towards the bottom of the page. If you would like to browse these sections, there is much to look at, but if you have something in mind already, you'll want to go directly to the search bar at the top of the page and type in exactly what you are looking to print. Today I'll be printing a GoPro camera housing as an example. So let's do a quick search for the keywords GoPro. Once on the results page, you'll be able to sort these results in a few different ways. Because I want the example print for you guys to be simple, I'll leave the most makes sorting option selected. This almost certainly means that the model has been made enough times to fix any errors in previous versions. As you can see, there are many different files available for GoPro housings. We'll go ahead and choose one of the first selections. Once on the target files page, you will be given a few different pictures of the finished print and a preview of the 3D model to be built. In Thingiverse, you can even rotate the 3D model by clicking on Thing of You and using your mouse to rotate the model. Okay, so now that you've seen the file in 3D and have confirmed that this is the model you'll need, you'll go ahead and click on Thing Files. In this section, there may be a few different STL files listed, so make sure you pick the one you need. We use the GoPro Hero 4 in our shop, so we'll go ahead and pick the Hero 4 version of the file. Once you click on the download link, your file will begin to download to your pre-selected file locations. We have our files saved to a specific 3D files folder within our downloads folder. So I'll go ahead and find the file and make sure it's completed downloading. There it is. The only thing left is to slice the file and transfer it over to your printer via USB or SD card. For more information on slicing your file, you can do a Google search for slicing programs and choose from the many free or paid options available. In a future video, I'll be highlighting how to choose the correct settings and prep options for your STL file based on the specs of your printer. This information can also be found by going to your Wanhao printer's advertisement page on our site and grabbing the specs for your particular Wanhao 3D printer. Alright guys, so here we have it, our Hero 4 GoPro housing, it fits perfectly without any adjustments being made to the file, and uh, it's simple as that, Thingiverse files straight from there to your slicing software and to your hands. And for more information about Wanhao USA, please visit us at wanhaousa.com or contact us directly at support at wanhaousa.com.